This isn't the first time this kind of thing has happened. There was yeah, one balcony yeah. where... Oh my god, I can't believe Jose beat Army. Yeah. That's so dumb. <laughs> there was one of the uh, balconies where I went Roy and uh, Jose went Ness and Falco, and we ended up in like winner's semis or something like that. Yeah. That was unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess they've already just started. Yeah, they're just going in. I don't know that these two have ever fought in, like, melee. Pro I really doubt it. Yeah, uh, but historically, Venom takes it, I am at. Has Venom oh, yeah, I mean. There's just so such a skill gap. Yeah, this <laughs> is not, this is considered a pretty challenging matchup for Falcon, typically. However, uh, Venom's practice partner for many years is a, a, a well-known, really good uh, <laughs> Falco or Sizzle. Yeah. So I've uh, seen him beat really good Falcos. He's beaten like West Balls and whatnot uh, about a year ago at the Christmas balcony, I think. Yeah. So he's, he's not a stranger to this matchup. I would assume that he's going to take it, despite the fact that he doesn't play melee anymore and his tech might be a little bit off. Yeah. While Tilt is uh, considerably more on point with his tech. And it shows. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll have to see how those uh, how that affects the match. In melee, you know, especially considering that there's two fastballers on screen. If your tech's not perfect, you could lose a yeah. lot of stocks in ways that you wouldn't have normally. The game has definitely gotten far enough that people have uh, taken punish game to new levels. Yeah, <laughs> you want to have like a hundred percent tech skill. Like that's yeah. your goal. And, and anything less than that, you know, it's like. Every time you move, you're rolling a dice, yeah. figuratively speaking, that one out of a hundred of those movements, you might mess up, you know. You don't want to uh, practice enough to get your tech skill good. You want to practice it so much that you can't mess up. And obviously, Jose, pretty good, but mm. he did beat Fal uh, he did beat Venom with Falco earlier in this bracket. Really? Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. But I would say that Jose's Falco might be a lot better than... <laughs> Tilt just in yeah. the basis of like natural skill at the game. Tilt is a fantastic player and he's really respectably good at this game. And I, I I would still assume that Venom would win as long as they're both on the same page in terms of like how warmed up they are to melee. Yeah. Um, but the I th I want to say the thing keeping it even right now is that Venom's looking a little like less smooth than usual. Right now he's just sort of sticking to really basic movement like dash dancing. He's not doing his typical like moonwalks and yeah, fancy platforms. platform wave lands. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> he's keeping it simple because uh, you know, especially with platform movement, he seems to air dodge really early sometimes, which is something that'll happen to someone if they play PM a lot. There's a one frame physics delay on PM air dodges, among other physics. Ooh, and that's gonna yeah. take game one. Yeah, in retrospect, he should have upbeat really early and uh, tried to like tech the stage, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that might get him too. I mean, he's been playing melee all day today, as far mm -hmm. as I've seen. But the the lack of mix up in this game is probably gonna make him feel a lot more limited. Yeah, going back to Battlefield, I don't know. I feel like as as good as Venom is typically on this stage, I feel like his platform movement is what's suffering the most, at least most visibly. Um, and so a stage like this might not be his best bet. I think it's a fantastic Falco stage as well. But you know, here we go. He's already up a stock, which. I don't think happened the previous game. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, Tilt's bringing it back really efficiently yeah, right now. I feel now. like both these characters really love this stage, too. I feel like it yeah. like really works for both their punish games. Yeah, I'm not about to criticize, you know, Venom's <laughs> stage <laughs> choice. I would have ended up picking, like, something else. Maybe just but to uh, mix it up. You know, he knows substantially probably more yeah. about this matchup <laughs> than I do. He's probably played Falcon a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and played as Falcon against Falco more. Yeah. For that. Mm -mm. All right. So this is really weird. Yeah. Tilt's having a really hard time cleaning it up ever since he knocked him off stage that Ooh. one time. <laughs> yeah, that's. He went so deep. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was like him tucking him in. Yeah. He just went down there, patted him on the back, gave He's him a like, kiss on the forehead. You don't need to come back. Yeah, and then he was gone. <laughs> All right, Tilt finally opens up. Opens up. No, it closes <laughs> it out. Three stops to two. They're talking about stuff now. They're getting to know each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah now they're talking. So they've had like a few opportunities to start combos, but each of them have flubbed massively. <laughs> like uh, Venom got a knockdown and opted for like an air dodge weirdly. Oh, wow. That was some weird DI. I don't know if he could have been saved after that up air, first up air. He DI'd it the way that he did. Yeah, this is not looking as good for Tilt. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like Venom is just gaining so much momentum. Oh, and that's oh, that's enough. Yeah, that was a good dare. I thought um, he would be able to up that, but I guess it was... Oh, it's a big spike. Never yeah. mind. So, <laughs> Venom seems to be handling lasers really well, and a lot of the time, Tilt just hasn't been using many lasers in general. He's been opting to just sort of nair approach or dare, or just work around platforms to try to, like, catch Venom in his movement. And it's been working pretty well so far. We'll have to see if he switches it up on this last stock. It's not looking like he's going to get that chance. Yeah. So we're off to game three. Yeah, best of three, too. So this is kind of the tournament game for each of these guys. Yeah, I can very well see him going back to Battlefield. Battlefield's <laughs> a, uh, a melee favorite fountain. Oh, All right, which yeah. is interesting because I know Venom loves this stage. Yeah, Venom's a perplexing man in that <laughs> uh, he loves this stage as Falcon. Most Falcons, uh, this is one of their least favorite. <laughs> so we'll see how it works. I know he really usually cheeses. Oh, wow, that was so fast. Yeah, that was a really bad double jump from Venom. That really cost him. He could have lived probably without it. I mean, with uh, the air dodge. I'm messing up everything. <laughs> no worries, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. Yeah, Venom, from my experience, works around the side platforms here really well. He uses them to his advantage when normally this would be quite an annoying thing to have to deal with. He really likes to uh, stomp through the platforms and try to get you know tech chases set up since it's relatively hard to punish when that happens to you. Um, yeah, you'll s probably see him hovering around the side platforms most of the match, uh, usually by choice. Okay, good shorten. Yeah, really good recovery. But Tilt's uh, recoveries are something that I've noticed he's gotten way better at in the past months. Like he discovered some ancient scroll or something, and now <laughs> he's recovering like twice as good as he used to. And he's learned. He's yeah. got the wisdom. All right. Interesting combo so far. Venom acts. That was one of the few times when uh, edge canceling your attack actually can mess you up. And that happened to me earlier. Um, <laughs> yeah, but he manages to recover anyway. Uh, yeah, he was probably looking for a falling up air. Didn't come out. And now he's cornered, and Tilt's playing the corner really interestingly right now. It's working out. Yeah, it, there's no use trying to bait someone if you don't, you know, follow up like Tilt just showed us. But he's still in control. Oh, spoke too soon. No, nope. he's taking it back. Really back and forth, but Tilt's looking like the favorite to win this, considering he won the winner's set. Now he's 1-1 uh, in the uh, loser's set with a stock advantage. Yeah, although ultimately he is the bird. But I guess they're both very fragile. Yeah, the two mm. most fragile characters that you can get in Melee. On a, on a tiny stage. They like, have to confront each other, basically. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yeah, so far... Working out for Tilt. Venom Ooh, needs that knee. That was a nice knee, too. 59%. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, his wave lands are looking a little better, but that's not exactly wave landing under pressure, which is what we're going to have to <laughs> see from him. It's quite different, you know, practicing when no one's around. No. Oh, weird up smash, yeah, but it that's, almost that's converts. That somehow almost worked. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he expected that sort of turnout from the up smash, and so he wasn't ready to punish. Ooh. Really oh, good tech. That was a super good tech. Yeah, and really necessary. That was a game over if he didn't tech it. Wow, oh. just barely. <laughs> All right, Venom unsatisfied with that. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be out of the bracket. Tilt's going to move on to play what? Loser semis at this point? Yeah, loser semis featuring... Yeah, so we're going to have Tilt Army, which is loser semis. And yeah, then they're stepping up right now. So. Yeah, and then in winner's finals, we have Jose V and Sosa. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Jose V, Sosa. Yeah, looking like PM right yeah, now. Yeah, this is uh, Melee fighting for the chance to rematch uh, PM.